Good morning everyone. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. As you can see from this video, I spent mine in the garden having a much needed tidy up and I thought I would film it for you. So this is the back garden. Um, I also did the front garden, but I did not film that one. So this is day one and I'm starting with what I believe to be the worst day of the garden, which is our teeny weeny deck. So our garden itself is only, I think about four or five meters squared. It's only a small garden. Um, but last summer my husband built this teeny weeny little deck for us so that we could sit out with a cup of tea and just enjoy the garden. It's quite a private garden, which is really, really nice. So I really want to get the deck ready for the summertime. We are already starting to get some really nice sunny spring weather so it seemed like the perfect weekend to get this done. We had sunny skies for the whole weekend although it was bitterly cold. <laughs> there was a really cold wind blowing on day two um, and on day one which is what you're currently seeing it was pretty cold as well so I've got I think three layers on top and my fleece lined um, tracksuit bottoms on as well so I was nice and toasty while I got this done. So I started off by just clearing everything off the deck. I'm literally just chucking it all into the rest of the garden. I'm going to get the deck cleaned down um, and then I will deal with the rest of the garden afterwards. So our plan for this summer with the garden, there's not all that much that we want to change. Um, but we do want to stain and treat the deck to weatherproof it and we do want to put an awning over it so that we can sit out even if the sun is really hot um, or if it's slightly drizzling with rain we can still sit out here. So in order to get the decking ready to be stained I'm going to give it a really good scrub clean today. So I'm going over it first with my broom. I really need to get a garden broom. <laughs> this one was a little bit too soft for what I needed. I needed a bit more of a, a scrub on it. Um, but it did the job for today. So I'm just getting all of the loose stuff. There was a lot of leaves, a lot of old petals, some debris from the, um, what do you call it, the guttering. <laughs> um, so I swept all that off and now I'm going over it with some really hot, almost boiling soapy water and the broom. So I'm just going to literally scrub it with the broom best I can. It's not going to get everything up, but it's going to get the worst of it off so that we can stain it once it's all dry and ready to go. So as you can see, this was really satisfying. <laughs> I wanted to just keep going over it and over it and over it, but I didn't want the video to get too long for you guys. So I'm going to give you a little bit of music while I scrub clean the deck. I hope you find it as satisfying as I did. <laughs> Thank you. 
so I was having so much fun cleaning in this manner that <laughs> I decided to go over the water bar as well with the hot soapy water and the broom. I kind of wish I could clean inside like this. It was so easy to clean everything this way and it was so satisfying at the same time. I really did have quite a lot of fun cleaning the garden which I was not expecting. I thought it was going to be one heck of a slog um, but actually it was great fun. The chair gave me a little bit of trouble because it was trying to move where I was putting pressure on it um, but I still managed to get it done. So this um, chair, I don't know if you can really see all that well on the video, has like a weave. It's like a plastic kind of woven, I would say material, but it's not material, it's rigid. Um, so the broom actually worked really, really well for getting into all the little gaps and all of that. And like I say, super, super satisfying. I shall be cleaning my patio furniture like this and my deck like this forever and ever more. They don't need to be immaculate, they're in the garden, um, but it was so easy and so satisfying. Can't wait to do it again. I was quite looking forward to that, must say. So with the second chair I just lent it against the first one and that stopped it from moving around, which was much much better. But I had the time of my life doing this, <laughs> honestly, it was so good. So now it's time to dispose of what was left of the soapy water and come out with some nice clean hot water and just give everything a nice rinse off. I don't think it's necessarily, you know, required um, to rinse everything off. We did have some rain come in later that day, which would have done a perfectly good job. Um, but I was just having so much fun by this point. It was it was a case of rinsing everything off and I'm glad I did because I worry that the soap might have left spots on things anyway. So I gave everything a good rinse including the water butt which was very easy just to tip that over um, and then I gave everything a good dry with a couple of microfiber cloths just to make sure that everything was nice and dry and ready to go. And we did end up sitting out here after I'd finished the garden having a cup of tea so it did work out perfectly at the same time this also rinsed off the deck which was nice but like I say we had some rain coming in later that day anyway to get rid of any residual soap that might have been left on anything like I say it's not really a huge issue outside anyway um, things get dirty dust and and debris and stuff blow in all the time so it's never going to be like a hundred percent clean but it was perfect for what I was looking for today, which was just to tidy everything up and have it a nice place to sit out while the weather's pleasant. At the moment, our temperatures are looking really, really nice, but we do have a really cold wind blowing. I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks that it will cheer up more than that. As you can see, I've got all my spring flowers going on. Everything's in bloom right now, which is really, really lovely. It will be nice if we could spend a little bit more time out here certainly on the list of priorities at the moment is getting the awning up um we ordered it a few weeks ago and it's currently sat in my living room because it arrived and it's a huge assembly job <laughs> huge we thought it was just going to arrive and it would just kind of you know screw on like ready to go but oh my god no it's a huge assembly job and i'm just not ready for it yet 
but I do want to get that put up very very soon so that we can come and sit out here it's going to be lovely to have an awning just to protect us from the heat of the sun any drizzly rain things like that so I'm just going over the table with a little bit of my flash spray just to make sure you know it's clean and bacteria free and all of that even though you know like I say it doesn't really matter in the garden it's for my own peace of mind knowing that we were going to come out here and have a cup of tea in a little while so next I moved on to the main bulk of the garden over the winter and I guess the autumn I suppose too lots of things have been just sort of popped out here placed out here waiting for some better weather to come in to actually get things done so we have a couple of pots of fence paint ready for doing that we have a couple of pots of um, in indoor paint that's gone bad that's waiting to go um, to the recycling centre there's, there's all sorts of things just floating around out here and I really want to deal with them today I do have half a bag of compost here that I've just taken onto the deck which is going to go into a little window box outside my son's window and then I've got a couple of bags of slate and a bag of topsoil that I'm going to utilise today and get them out of the way so they're not sitting there being all ugly and eyesorey for the rest of the summer. So I've gone over to the back corner to deposit some of this slate. It's gotten a little bit thin over the back here. If I could do it again, we redid this garden a couple of years ago. And if I had the choice again, I probably wouldn't have gone for the slate. I love the slate. I love how it looks, but... We have the big laurel tree next door. We have all sorts of things in our own garden that are dropping leaves all the time. And it's an absolute nightmare for uh, weeds growing, baby laurels trying to grow, um, leaves from the laurel, all that kind of thing. Because you can't pick it up with a garden vac because it takes the slate up with it. And you can't blow it with a leaf blower because it blows the slate with it. So you end up with this kind of sort of slate mud mix where everything's decomposing and sitting inside the slate, which is just utopia for weeds and dandelions and things like that. So I'm going through and picking out all the weeds at the moment, but if I could have my chance again, I definitely would have just put pavers. Pavers or, or something like that, or gravel perhaps, uh, would, would probably have been a better, better option. But it is what it is. I do still love it. It's just a little bit more maintenance. So I'm just going around getting rid of all those little laurel saplings. I don't know what was so special about last year, but the laurel in next door's garden dropped hundreds of thousands of seeds into our garden. Hundreds of thousands. Like, honestly, it's a, it's a daily job just going around picking up all of the little seedlings that are coming up. Um, it's awful, but it's necessary. So my next job today was to just go around and tidy up some of the plants that have been kind of going a bit wild over the autumn and winter. So here I'm just clearing, cleaning up one of the hellebores. It's flowering beautifully, but I need to clear up the old leaves from last year that are starting to look a bit sad and droop. It's putting all its new leaves out now anyway. So it's time to give it a little bit of a tidy up. And I will go around later on and fertilize all of these too. So I'm just going to give you like a little, a little sort of visual of what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm gonna be copying and repeating this around the entire garden. But that video would take forever, so I'm just gonna show you this little bit, and I will do the rest of the weeding and cutting back off of camera, so that I don't bore you guys to death. <laughs> this video is more of a cleaning, tidy up video than a gardening video anyway. So I'm just showing you what I'm doing for this little bit and then I will come back with the rest of the cleaning.
Okay, so now we're on to day two. It's Sunday and I'm cleaning a few more bits out here before I'm finished. So I'm starting off cleaning this plaque. Uh, we lost my father-in-law, um, I think a couple of years ago, just gone actually. And we planted this beautiful white rose in the back garden for him. And he has his little plaque sitting in front of it so that we can remember him whenever we are looking at the rose. And it's got a bit grubby and grimy over the winter. So I'm just going to go through with my flash spray and my toothbrush and just give it a bit of a tidy up. It's not perfect. It came with a couple of um, like sparkly rhinestones in it that have fallen out um, or been picked out by the magpies more likely. Um, but it's it's fine. It still looks good. Um, we might replace it at some point, but for now it's perfectly happy. And now it's nice and clean too. So the last jobs that I've got for the garden this weekend are cleaning the windows and the back door. So this window goes into my son's bedroom. We have a quite unique layout of our house that one of the bedrooms is downstairs. It's not a dining room, it's not like a spare room, it's it is a legi legitimate sorry, bedroom, um, but it's downstairs. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning the window. I did give him a knock because he was still in bed and let him know that it was me and not somebody trying to get in um but yeah i just wanted to do this window really really quickly i'm just going to do that outside today i will go back and do the inside in the week um so i've just cleaned the glass i'm going over it with my window vac i love this thing it's great um, and then i'm just going to clean up the frame and then i will take my cleaning toothbrush and get into the little vent holes at the top there Technically, I probably should have started with that because that was definitely the dirtiest bit of the window. Um, but it all worked out okay. Not a problem. All got done. much of the same again for the back door. I'm not going to be doing the window that's next to the door today because I did that when I was doing my spring clean of the kitchen. It's still looking fine um, so I'm not concerned with doing that today and the battery on my camera was running dangerously low. <laughs> I really wanted to get this finished for you guys so that it didn't just randomly cut off uh, half of me doing the door. So I was just kind of speed cleaning this little bit here. Usually I would go a little bit more in depth, but you know, it's outside. It's not really necessary to clean every crack and crevice because it's going to be covered in mud and dust and all sorts by tomorrow anyway. So I just went around the door frame and the handle with my flash. And now I'm just cleaning the glass with the hot soapy water and the window vac. So when I have finished the door, I'm going to move on to the kind of sill at the bottom of the door. It's probably got a different name, whatever it's called. Um, that's got some spots on it from where my husband has painted the back gate. He got a paint sprayer, which actually worked really, really well, but it's kind of messy. It's covered everything in these tiny little dots of fence paint. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get those off today too. And yes, that is a bottle of cooking oil. <laughs> when we have old cooking oil, we put it into this bottle and eventually it gets taken off to be recycled. But we don't like to keep it in the kitchen because it's old oil and we don't want it to spill all over the kitchen floor. So we tend to keep it outside the back door. Not very attractive, is it? But you know, it is what it is. It's not in the house. So to start with, with this door sill, I'm going over it with hot soapy water and my scrub mummy, but the paint is not lifting. I don't know if you can really see it on the video um, I can't see it as I'm looking now so I apologize if you can't but there are hundreds of thousands of tiny paint dots 
So I'm going in with my pink stuff paste very, very gently because this stuff is abrasive. It will scratch. And I'm just going over the, the door sill with that and it's picking up the paint perfectly. Those grey spots that you can see that are actually mortar from when the brickwork around the kitchen door got repointed. Um, and I need to come back and actually kind of scrape that off or sand it off or something like that. Um, but the pink stuff is doing a really, really good, good job even of getting these tiny little paint spots off, which is exactly what I was hoping it was going to do. I'm very, very happy with that. It's working perfectly. <laughs> just a quick buff with my cloth and that is the back garden done guys that is the clean up complete for this spring there will be various little garden cleans as we go through the spring and summer months probably into autumn as well but this is the finished garden guys i'm really hoping that you like this video i'm really glad with how it came out i will see you in the next video bye